Hey, what's up Integrity fam and welcome back to another Hackademy session on file upload vulnerabilities. And today is going to be a little more advanced, but let's immediately jump into the lab. And what we're seeing over here is as usual, a lab provided by PortSwigger. And if we go to my account, we've seen that before we go to username and use our user wiener, we log in and we have our account mask and we can see that we can upload an avatar and this is the part that we want to exploit as we've seen in the previous video that i will link above there is some sanitization in place that doesn't allow us to upload php files but we're going to try a polyclot web shell today and if you don't know what that means right now it will become clearer towards the end of this video so let's look at this we're having our integrity logo over here and we're using a tool called Axif tool to inspect that PNG file. What we're seeing is that the file is called integrity underscore logo.png. It is of type image PNG. And yeah, it doesn't have anything special to it. It's just a regular image file as you would expect it to be. But now we're going ahead and say, let's add something to the metadata of this image, we're going to say, hey, we want to add a comment, which we just say test for now. So let's look at the metadata of that PNG file again. And if we have another look, nothing has changed apart from the fact that we have added a comment. And the comment is test for now. So let's go ahead and play around with that possibility to add a comment to the metadata of a specific file. So instead of saying comment test, we are going to put down something more interesting right now. And we're going to put down some PHP code. So let's look a little bit closer at this. We will just, as usual, start our PHP tag and we say echo in order to display a certain text. And what we want to say is, hey, look here for our interesting part so why are we doing that because once this is getting executed we can look for that string and see if we're getting that return somewhere later but more about that in just a bit now we're going to say hey we want to use the file get contents function in php to retrieve the content of slash home slash colors slash secret and we're doing that because the lab is asking us to do so and then after that, we will once again add some more text to it just to have like a, a little enclosure to the content that we're actually searching for. And now we just say the secret is to the left. So we want to look and see if we can get a secret somewhere in between those two strings that we have defined. And once we hit enter, we will actually add that comment to the metadata of that image file. And let's check that out again. So we once again say Axif tool, integrity logo PNG. We see that the comment has been updated and that it now has our PHP code inside. Nothing has changed. It is still a PNG file. If you would open that file, you would still see the logo that we've seen before. And what we're going to do now is we're going to make it a polyclot. And what does that mean? We are going to specify an output file saying webshell.php and we hit enter. And what this is doing to the file is that it creates a new file that is pretty much the same, but now it has a new name. And if we look closely, we can see that the file name right now is webshell.php. It has the file ending of a PHP file, but the metadata still specifies that this is an actual PNG or image file. And this is going to be interesting because this is how we're going to trick the sanitization routine. Because the sanitization routine is going to check if we provide an image file looking at the magic byte, looking at the file type, the MIME type, all that stuff. But it will still allow us to upload a file which is called webshell.php. So let's do that. And it will tell us, well, your file has been uploaded successfully. We go back and what we do see is that this cannot be shown in 
the account overview, it looks like a broken image. But let's go to Burp Suite. And if we look at Burp Suite, we don't find the request to get that image. This is why we have to go and allow images. And now we do see our files, avatars, webshell.php. And even in Burp, you can spot that this is a polyglot because under the MIME type, we see this is a PNG file, but the extension clearly says PHP. So let's head to the response and let's just check what the server has been doing. And if we have a look, we do see that this looks like a regular PNG file. It has the magic bytes. It has the, the PNG string in the beginning, but then we do find our comment. Look here for our interesting part. The secret is to the left. And what you do see is that we don't have this get file content PHP function anymore, but now we actually found a string. So this PHP code got executed. And now we can try and check if this is the secret of Carlos. And if we hit OK, we do see that we have successfully solved the dilemma. All right, as usual, let's reiterate. So we found a file upload possibility and we realized that we could not just upload a regular PHP file in order to run that code. So what we were doing was we were creating a file that is an actual image file. In our case, it was a PNG file in order to pass the validation routine of the server of the web application. But at the same time, we added a comment in the metadata of the image file that contained a PHP line of code. And in order to have this executed, we created a polyglot file where the file ending was actually changed to PHP. We called it webshell.php, but the content still stayed the same. It was still a PNG or image in the front, like in the eyes of the sanitization and validation routine of the server. So we bypassed this routine and successfully uploaded PHP code to be executed on the server. And then once we checked the outcome, we got our desired secret. All right. I hope this was interesting to you. I hope you learned something new today. Go and try this out on a bug bounty program on integrity leave us a comment if you have any question get this video a like this is really important to us and as usual subscribe in the top right corner and i will talk to you folks soon